Now we have to draw a line PQ parallel to a given point outside it. So whenever there is a question on construction, it is always a good idea to draw a rough figure so that we know what exactly do we want. So here we have a line say AB and we want to construct and say there is a point P here and we want to construct a parallel line, a line which is parallel to AB and it should pass through P. Now we will use this principle that when there are two parallel lines and, a pal and two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the alternate angles are always equal. We know that. So we will use this principle to construct a parallel line opposite to a parallel opposite to a line. So let's do it. Let's take any line. Let it be tilted. That's not a problem. Let's say let's take any line, say AB. And let's take a point P anywhere of your choice. And it should be opposite to AB. This is the first step. Now, on AB, take a point Q. Again, anywhere of your choice. And now, join PQ. You know what we will do now? We will construct an angle here and we will construct the same angle here. We will make and then because this angle will be equal to this angle so the lines will be parallel. Let's wait and watch. Here with the help of this compass and with Q as the center Construct an angle, say, M and N. Again, this time with P as center, draw an arc on the opposite side. Now, let's take the measurement of angle M, Q, N. That is this angle because we want to draw a similar angle on the opposite side. I'm, no, I'm sorry, not similar angle, but the same angle. Now, let's take the measurement of this angle. And with P as center, we drew an arc. Let's call this point as X. And with X as center, cut an arc. Now, what we did, repeat, I repeat the process again. We took the measurement of this angle and then with X as center, we cut an arc. Now we have this point, say, Y. Now it's simple we will simply join Y and P gently and we have got line AB parallel to YP. You can extend it further in order to verify these two lines will never meet. So YP is actually parallel to AB. So that was easy.